G'day guys, Sarah here. How are we doing? Hope uh, everyone's all right for a sat day. Um, uh, today I'm going to do a Dutch pour. I think I've got that right. Um, as I said, I'm atrocious with these terminologies. I'm very new to all of this. Um, I'm still learning, so I hope those of you who are watching are learning along with me. Um, because, you know what, give things a go, see how they go. Um, I'm going to actually do this one with a coloured base. Um, the one I did yesterday, I kind of liked the whole coloured base thing. Um, and I've got a whole lot of colours that are still mixed up. So um, one new one I've just mixed up is this beautiful uh, magenta. It's actually the metallic magnolia. Um, by Araldo de Palo, um, which I get at, as I said, at Riot Art. Um, and the other colours are also um, same brand metallics, all of them, except for the gold. The gold is a um, Mikador. And uh, yeah, still trying to use that up. Now, that's the only thing I've added any silicon to um, or a cell creator. Um, the one I've got is Colourpore Cell Magic, um, which is I uh, just got its spotlight um, near to me. The yeah, the rest of the colours are just uh, a mix, you know, a two to one flow troll, um, and maybe a smidge of water because uh, the Araldo de Palo ones are quite thick. Oops. This is actually what my base is going to be. So as you can see, they're quite a thick consistency, but um, they're beautifully creamy. So they go quite a long way, and that's why I use the two to one um, without too much trouble. I'm also going to use just a little bit of white um, to help the, um, the blowing. I'm going to use my airbrush um, today, which was actually bought for my cake decorating oh, about a year or oh, no be a year and a half ago it sat in the box and it didn't get cracked open until i started doing this so um yeah not that i've used any paints through it or anything so i can still use it for cake decorating if i want it just blows the air that's all i'm using it for all right i'm gonna lay this uh down i'm doing it on photo paper again because i actually want to test this to see if it'll work because uh, I do want to do, if this colour combination works with the uh, magnolia, the blue and the gold and a little bit of white, um, I want to do a big one. I actually want to do something for my place. Um, we moved into a rental after living up country for about five years. Um, and yeah, so I don't have much decoration on the wall uh, or walls so I'm just going to pop this on smooth it out and I'll be right back okay so we've got that laid down now I actually just want to show you I saw a neat little trick on a YouTube video where the lady actually used a pick comb I think they call it um, to spread it around so that's actually just what I've done um, and I'm noticing that actually in the metallics it's leaving a bit of a oh I've got something in there um some lines which could make for some interesting things later now I am going to torch it um this is my other little torch I just bought from like a you know two dollar shop it wasn't two dollars it was 9.99 um it's refillable but again as you can see I've got really tiny hands so yeah it just fits in my hand so it's nice and easy to control um this one's got a bit of a bigger flame on it than the other one that I was using or still use um but I don't have to get quite as close with it but yeah a few air bubbles that's I do notice the pick did it. Um, all right, so I think what I'm going to do, um, as I said, we're going with white, the magenta kind of, or they're calling it magnet, uh, metallic magnolia, gold and white. Um, I'm just going to go straight with, I'm going to call it magenta, the metallic magenta. 
Um, oh, I think that needs a bit of a stir. Now I actually did, because when I've added the flow troll to this, it didn't go quite as, um, it lost a bit of its oomph. Um, so I actually added some magenta alcohol ink. I don't know whether you're meant to do that or allowed to do that, but I did just to try and give the color back a bit of a boost. Um, Cause what's in the pot is amazing. Pretty close to what my hair color usually is. And, um, at the moment it's a bit of fluoro pink uh yeah so we'll see what it does i don't know whether it's going to cause some sort of reaction i'm going to go on a bit of a diagonal and i'm not really going to go a particularly set kind of line i want mainly the pink now i've done quite a bit more of the blue on the base than I did do with the purple in yesterday's video. Uh, now I'm going to go a little bit of white only because I want something to break up the gold, well, you know, break between the gold and the pink. Sorry, I'm just forgotten I haven't stirred this. I haven't stirred that white today, so. That's been sitting there. This is just the white I usually use as a base. Not too much. Just a little bit. Oh, slopping it everywhere. All right. Now this is the gold. Colors look kind of cool together. As I said, this I've put quite a bit of the cell activator. Um, it's very thick. Um, but yeah, added a good, you know, good squirt just to see what it would do. I don't quite want it all to go. All right, now I'm going to put a bit more of the pink. Oh, interesting. As I said, I want more pink. I don't know whether I'm doing this right or wrong. I'm just kind of popping it on there to see. But wow, look at what the white's doing already. Um, got some cell action happening. And there is nothing in that white. It is just my base white. Um, I'm going to give it a quick torch. Oop. All right, now let's get this. Oop. Why is that not going on? No. Something's going awry. So, hey, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so much for that idea. My airbrush has decided it's not going to work. Now, as I said in another one, I am still playing with my consistencies and I think my pink might be a little bit different to the blue um, because it's starting to disappear a little bit there. But that's okay, hopefully when we blow it. And I'm now going to have to use my hairdryer. Um, and being on the photo paper, this could be interesting. I'll just try and do it very gently. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. That actually worked a bit better than I thought. Um, okay, we've got some cool cell action happening. I don't really want to touch it or move it. I think I'm going to leave this alone. 
and give it a quick torch just for any air bubbles. I'm a little concerned that there's a bit too much paint. Um, on here but as you can see there's some cool cell action I adore these paints because I know it's not going to show in the video but the glisten and the shimmer of it um, is quite amazing um, let me see if I can take you off the stand and we'll see if we can come in oh now sorry about that all right so let's see come on focus focus there we go all right I think you can maybe see there some of that gold shimmer and look at the blue Ooh, sparkle sparkle but I'm kind of a bit stoked because that's about the best selection I've had without doing too much that magenta with the blue is quite phenomenal i hope it kind of just stays there um, i'm actually hoping i get some cool runoff bits which i seem to be because yeah i hate wastage so there'll be some cool jewelry pieces coming out of it um, hopefully, when I get my little kits, I'm just going to go around the piece a bit so I can show you. Ooh, nice skin action happening. Um, I just use a garbage bag um, under my work because the A, it's reusable. I've got four sides of it that I can use because I use it just one side at a time and then I cut it open and use the other two side or the other two um, parts of it. So and that's after I've used it probably four or five times. Um, but yeah, I can just peel off um, the paint. As you can see, that's some of the ones from yesterday. So say it peels off like, oop, helps if I show my hands. Peels off real easy. All right, well, I'll, um, Come back in a little while and see where this is going. Oh, we're going out of focus again, sorry. Still learning how to do this too, but I'm kind of pretty pleased. Um, we'll see how it moves uh, a little bit later on and what's left. All right, be back soon. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Um, I've let it just sit where it was. Uh, I'm not sure. Too much paint possibly i think if i was going to blow next time i definitely wouldn't use the hairdryer i might just use my mouth i did that little bit there and there just with my mouth i think on a smaller piece like this yeah mouth's probably the way to go on a straw um so we might try this again um as i said this was a bit of a test piece so still pretty pleased with it it's kind of cool there's some cool cell action going on and some cool shapes and stuff so yeah still kind of like it and the colors work so that was really what I was testing was to try and see the colors I like the wispy bit so I'm glad I did add the white in I might not add quite so much white next time and maybe um, definitely not so much of the base maybe make my base thinner and the magenta more so and just blow across the top I think if that was uh, would have given me a better result but still not quite what I wanted but not going to call it a fail either anyway if you liked um, my video please hit the like button subscribe if you do um, kind of like what I'm doing I will get better I promise um, <laughs> but you know what be kind to each other make somebody smile i think we all need it right now this makes me smile each day so have a great one guys and enjoy bye